So I've got my new cable here, it's just arrived in the post and what I was trying to basically point out before that is that uh, you actually have to nip this part in here, as you see here it actually squeezes it. So I'm going to put this back on, I'm going to hook this on over the back of the box, the drive box. And all I have to do then is just pull this forward here so it clicks through the back and then it'll, it'll go on easy because it squeezes these down and it will actually stop. So to get it off what I was trying to show on the, uh, the previous videos is you've actually got to squeeze these and pull it back through. Um, there's no lifting it off or anything, you've got to squeeze these parts and then you pull it back through to unhook it and it comes off. So I'm going to pull it across, hook this bit in first of course, I'm going to pull this through and then it should, uh, well it will, put it in the right position. This is what stops the cable moving about when you pull the lever. This sets it so the actual cable can go through this, uh, this outer sleeve. And you can see here as well that this ends obviously in uh, good order, it's a new part. so. Uh, I think I paid about £13 for that, but I'm going to fit that, and it's, you know, it's cost me more than I wanted to pay really, but uh, I won't have any problems with somebody bringing it back because that frayed cable is going to break on them. So I've hooked that onto the back and I've pulled it through, as I said, as I showed you in the, uh, the last clip, that's all on. Just pushed it through this gap here, I've just actually got this little rubber uh, part to push through here that just hooks on. And I've got it to here, and you just basically connect it up so there's... Uh, you know, so there's not too much slack, it starts pulling and that actually pulls, if you tip them over up you can actually see that it's uh, activating that box, the lever on the back of that box. All I need to do now really is put this uh, this tensioner back on the bottom of here, just tension the box up so it's not all flapping down. When I get the uh, the belt and the, the uh, so when I get the belt on and the blade, um, it should all be running great. I'm just going to change the oil on this, we'll probably just uh, get a clean the air filter up and give this a real good clean and tidy up but uh, it's uh, taking shape nicely now is this well, the big thing to do that I don't like people ringing up saying something snapped I think it was worth the money this time I've got this little uh, rubber bung on here just need to, I actually like to cable tie these all the way along I just cut them off to get it off and I've got this tension and I've also put this uh, this adjuster on the back that just tightens the belt up a little bit now I haven't put it on very tight because of course I've got to get the blade adapter and the blade on and the, uh, the belt as well. I don't want that too tight because otherwise it makes the distance between the, uh, the drive box at the back and the blade adapter further away. It makes the belt harder to get on so I'm going to leave that quite slack for now. And then when I get the belt on I'm going to uh, tighten it up a little bit. Make sure that this all pulls over nice but as you can see here this is nice and uh, accurate. This all works nice. It's pulling. There's a little bit of slack just until you basically engage it. Pulls about, I would say about an inch and it uh, all operates nicely underneath so next job is to sharpen this blade up, I'm going to sharpen that up and put it back on this adapter properly and pop that back on and this uh, more will be ready to test it then we'll just uh, put the uh, air filter box back on we'll give this a test and if it works alright I'll probably change the oil and put a plug in this as well and we'll give this a tidy up and sell this for some profit. I've just taken a closer look at this blade and it actually has uh, two holes worn in it, we've just pulled the grass out of it out of here, and I've actually just looked up here. Sometimes I just if I get a mower, I'm just breaking. I just keep a few. And luckily for me, I've actually found uh, one that looks pretty much identical. Just going to make sure the holes are the same space apart. But uh, as you can see there, I may as well clean up the uh, the one that's not got a hole in the blade. And this one, I mean, I will keep it, but it's not a real lot of use. But uh, it may come in handy if I get a mower that doesn't have a blade at all. So I still will keep that. Well, that's uh, a real stroke of luck for me with this mount field mower. So. I'm going to sharpen that one up and I'm going to put that blade back on instead of the other one with these holes. Okay. What do you think about well, these blades? Well, the blades look a little rusty. It looks a bit rusty. Well, should we tidy it up a bit and should yeah. we sharpen it up a bit so it looks nice yeah. and neat? Yeah? Yep. Cool. I get lots of video, uh, lots of um, messages about videos on sharpening blades, but I never do a video on that just in case people, you know, take it onto themselves to do it. And you know, it's a very dangerous thing to do. Uh, basically, all I do is run it along this bench grinder. I just run uh, the edge of the blade along flat here. I'll just take the, the major dinks out of it and make it flat. And then all you, all you really basically need to do is follow the, uh, the angle that's already on this blade and just sharpen it up like that. Just follow the angle that's already on it and make sure it's sharp. As long as it's got some sort of uplift, that's what uh, that actually helps lift the grass into the air and put it into the actual box. So I'll do that a couple of times on both sides, get all the major nicks out, follow the actual um, angle that's already set on the blade and then with the finer side of this uh, bench ground here I'll just run it slightly along the back of this blade now, I don't need to do that but I've had people come and pick them up before and say this blade didn't sharp I can see it's not been sharpened because this side actually faces the ground so just by running a little bit along the back at least if someone comes to pick 
pick it up and have a look, you don't have to have a debate about whether it's been sharpened or not, you know it has anyway, and they can see that it has as well. So that's how I do it basically, but please take care doing that, and if you're not sure of course, just take this to a, a shop, I don't think they'll charge you much more than six, seven pound for uh, sharpening a blade up. One thing I forgot to mention actually, I've actually got this little blade balancer, now make sure of course you're putting it on a, a level work surface, and what you do when you've basically uh, ground this off to make it nice and sharp, it needs to be balanced. Now this is what this tool, as you can see here, it rocks about. And what you want is at both ends of it to not be touching the, uh, the surface here, as you can see here and here. If it's actually down on one side, you'll have an unbalanced blade, and you could get vibrations and um, have trouble starting your mower. It can kick back and things like that. So make sure that uh, you get yourself a blade balancer. You can see there that one's actually not too bad. Unfortunately for me, that's the one with the holes in, so I'll sharpen this other one up and we'll get this back on this mower. Okay. I've got once again another blade adapter that's actually got these two pins missing on it. I mean, the blade was on fine, it was all running right, but um, rather than buy a new one, I'm just going to pin this, going to actually drill this and just put some uh, just some weak bolts through it basically. I like to know that they're on right, even though I'm pretty sure that uh, with this washer on and this bolt through here, it won't come off, but I like to do that right. We'll get that on. I've uh, Found the belt, which is here, which I've uh, had misplaced, but I've found that again now. We'll uh, we'll put that back on. I've got this blade sharpened up. Like I was saying here, yeah, I just run the uh, grinder just along this edge as well, just to make absolutely sure that if anyone picks it up, they can see it's been sharpened. So, we're going to drill through there now, I'm going to find some parts and we'll put that on. We'll get this back on. So, to get this belt back on, what I've actually done is just slacken this uh, adjuster right off at the back, just to give me a lot a bit more room to play with as well. Hook it over the... Uh, the back here near the box and then hook it over this blade adapter here and push the blade adapter on of course making sure this blade adapter fits on this uh, the pin at the back actually a key way around here and if you look inside here it looks uh, very similar all the way around but there is one notch that runs right the way through so you can push this back on now we have to do that of course before I fit this blade back on it's uh, going to be difficult to do it to hook it over the blade and round it's a lot easier to do this and put the blade on after so I've got a bit of tension on that belt there I might need to tighten it up a little bit more but now I've got that all back together I've got my blade sharpened I'm going to pop that back on and we'll do something with these uh, pins through here as well just to tidy that up a little bit and then when we're finished I will uh, I'll test it just out here just on this uh, patio of mine and I'll, of course I will put this uh, this guard on underneath that stops all the grass getting in and hopefully I can sell this to someone and the belt will stay on for a good while. Right, so I've got this all back together now. What I want to do now is just test that this, uh, this drive's all working as it should. Put that can up there. Need to just tighten that up a bit better. Um, it's been tipped on its side this so it may smoke a bit, but I'll try and start this up. And we'll just see if the drive's working. more positive than it was you're not having to really pull on it and it stops as soon as you let go of the handle so I'm happy that that's set correctly I just need to tighten these uh, parts up under here and another note with these is if they're running at funny speeds like fast or too slow just by wiggling this cable about sometimes they often get caught come over here about film see these two cables buddy yeah see these two can you see them yeah. showing you there yeah if you untie them from the handle, sometimes even just because of touching, it'll, it'll actually run at different speeds. So when you get it running as you want, just actually clip these and make sure they're out of each other's way. Because you'll find just by wiggling this about sometimes, even though it's set at the front, it'll run at different speeds. It's not the, really the best design of all time, but um, sometimes you can think you've got a running fault and uh, you haven't really. It's just a case of getting these in a good place. I, okay. I just shut it then turned it on. Is it red? You got a red yep. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start this, I'm going to demonstrate what I mean with that cable, David, all right? Yep. Yeah, we'll start it up again and I'll show you what I mean.
go. What I like to do with those is just flip them in the way, make sure they're going to stay in the same place. So when somebody folds the handle up and down, it ain't going to move, and I'm not going to get a phone call saying this has gone wrong. So just a little tip: make sure the cables are out the way of each other, and just make sure that it's nice and tight at the front, and nothing's slack under there. So just another little tip: I've got the uh, the drive working nice on that. So I'm actually going to uh, change the oil on this now. I'm going to give this a tidy up and put another plug in it. It's had the carburetor done now. It's had the blade changed, sharpened, balanced. The pins are set right. It's had a new uh, drive cable. It's been a bit of a pig this, to be honest, but it's a good one. So is that funny? Bit of a pig. Yep. What's funny about that? It's a pig. It's a pig. I know it's a pig, but you know what I mean. So we're going to get this uh, air filter box cleaned up and this air filter. We'll put that on first, and we'll uh, we'll do a few more bits on here. But we're getting there now. It's going to be uh, worth a few pounds. Is this when we're done? Okay.